According to reports from British media, the Middleton family found themselves in an unusual situation during the Easter holidays. Carol Middleton, Kate's mother, is spending time with her daughter, son-in-law, and grandchildren. It seems she's helping look after the kids, as she usually does. But an unexpected encounter occurred over the weekend in Norfolk. One of the pub's patrons reported that both Gullion and Carol Middleton dropped by for a drink. What exactly they were drinking remains unknown, but the meeting was pleasant. Kate was not present. This story became the talk of the town, but it wasn't the only one. The media is reporting that Kate might be hospitalized again. They say she has a new illness and her mental health is suffering. This is linked to the prospect of ascending the throne, which is being discussed in the media and on social networks. They say both William and Kate must be prepared for the worst. This is causing concern. The media also reports pressure on Kate, complicating her battle with cancer and affecting her mental well-being. Her mental state has been in question before. Recall that royal biographer Angela Levin noted that Kate's problems are related to her mental state. But it's not only the weight of the crown that complicates the life of Michael and Carol Middleton's daughter, but also the upcoming event, her brother's birthday. Kate is entering her key month. On April 23, Louise turns six, and usually on this day, Kate takes photos and posts them on social media. These photos become official and are posted on the Kensington Palace website. But again, the story is getting complicated for Kate Middleton due to stress, health issues, and most importantly, her unusual absence from the media in recent months. In fact, commentator Christopher Anderson from Fox News in the USA warns that the princess is not planning to take photos on this day due to important public pressures and recommendations. Essentially, after the Photoshop debacle that surrounded her Mother's Day image, Kate Nilsson has been advised not to take photos, not to retouch them, or even better, to allow a professional, a real photographer, or a media representative to take the photos and thus provide appropriate explanations to those who don't understand, as is usually the case in many families when photos are taken on certain birthdays and shared on social networks. They say that Kate Milton always takes this on herself, as she presumably did on Mother's Day. The recommendation I received is not to do this again, because they are convinced that absurd theories, crazy ideas will emerge, and many will suggest strange things that could ultimately turn against her. All this has prompted Kensington Palace in the midst of Kate Milton's cancer battle, which in my opinion, is not the time or place to make various recommendations, press, call to reconsider Kate Milton's approach to one of her most discussed and beautiful traditions, because in the end they deprive the mother of the opportunity to take a photo of her child and publish it on social networks, it's really, sadly, it's information that's delicately pertinent, which, as we see, is increasingly pressing on Kate Milton from all sides. It's not just about her ascending to the throne in a blink, it's even about something as simple as snapping a photo of her child, which could ultimately turn into a genuine issue. And to add to all of this are reports that I'm struggling to classify, but they say Meghan Markle is once again, making moves, subtly targeting Kate Middleton and complicating her life. There were talks, well, in England these days, they discussed, they talked about my mistake, if I'm not mistaken, that Meghan Markle even demands a plea an apology from Kate Middleton, despite her cancer, who doesn't even feel guilty, and who, besides, thinks she did everything wrong because she should have been much more pro Meghan, so to speak. Both claim they are outsiders, people who don't belong to the royal family in the strict sense, who don't have blue blood, so to speak, and she thinks she should have been her ally, and she didn't do that. And also, take note of this, because they say the latest demand from the Welsh princes was to reconcile with Harry and Meghan. They even invited Archie and Lilibet to spend time with their cousins in England, so that in the upcoming trip in May for the Invictus Games, not only Harry and Meghan, but also their children could go, because essentially, they hardly know them. And what was the feedback? Or rather, what, according to certain news sources, was the feedback? Like, for example, from the British newspaper Mirror. Let's discuss. 
According to a statement by Tom Quinn, a royal family expert, Meghan Markle's response to the so-called request from the Welsh princes may have been negative. It is claimed that Meghan Markle does not feel safe, that she has been deprived of this security, and this is true, her royal security has been taken away, not all of it, but a significant part, and this, of course, worries Meghan Markle, because she understands that her public reputation is at risk. Yesterday we already discussed this. A YouGov poll showed that Kate Middleton has become the most beloved member of the royal family on the British, while Harry and Meghan are plummeting, and William is holding up more or less, while Charles II is rising slightly. Thus, this negative response from the British, this distance from the Sussexes, could become a problem. We already know that there are people today who want to take, I don't know, justice into their own hands or just do foolish things. From time to time they emerge, and in this sense, Meghan Markle has every reason to be concerned because, if the statistics are to be believed, Harry has 31% positive reactions, e support from the British, while Meghan has 26%, which is a dramatic drop, it's another factor to consider, and amid all of this, they have been stripped of their security, it's something that causes serious concerns, because we're not just talking about Harry or Meghan not feeling safe, they want to travel with their children or invite them, and they've been deprived of, as I say, security, they no longer have the level of protection they had, for example, during the last trip, during the meeting with his father at Clarence House a few months ago. So this is information worth considering. Right now Kate Middleton is in a tough spot, but Meghan Markle is not lagging behind either, and there are certain media outlets, not too well known, claiming that even this situation between Harry and Meghan, their planned trip to England, their discussions about whether to go or not, their communication with the children, have caused some emotional exhaustion. They talk about divorce, they spread various rumors, but it's all still to be verified. I'm just sharing information with you, because discussions are ongoing, that maybe their relationship has reached a breaking point. Although, I repeat, these are not the most authoritative media. What do you think about this, friends? Looking forward to your comments and opinions. All the best.